There is a word from the Lord on this morning. The voice you will hear will be coming from our, none other than our, the bishop of our church, Bishop Stuart Miniweather. Let's receive him with a good God bless you as he comes at this time. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Did you come expecting today? day? Yeah. What are you expecting God to do for you? Great things today. Yeah. The Bible said he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Yeah. If you're desiring a good thing today, God is going to grant you your request. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. The Bible said God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him according to spirit and truth. Truth has reference to God's word. You can't see God, but God is here. He's in you. He's around you. He's among you. God is all over this place. I want to do something special today. He's going to move in your life, moving over you. I want you to surrender to it. I want you to welcome him. And God is going to give you an experience. If it's healing you come for, God's going to give you healing. If you're coming for your loved one, God is going to hear your prayer. If you're coming for those of you, of coming for, you've lost your job, God's going to give you a better job. Nothing happened by accident. So we want you to prepare your hearts and minds for God that is here. Let us bow our heads as we come to the throne of grace. Father, as we are here today, we're here in your name to welcome you, to walk among your people. You declared in your word that I am the Lord. There is nothing too hard for you. You can do the impossible. You can make ways where there is no way. You can give strength where there is no strength. You can give healing when the doctors have given up those who are sick. You can say to them, live on. You can say to them, I'm giving you a tomorrow in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray now that you will move in this place by your spirit. You said in your word, I will walk among my people. I will be their God and they shall be my people. We need a visitation from you today. Oh God of heaven and earth, we need a visitation of your presence today. We are waiting on you today. We need a move of your spirit today, God. In the name of Jesus, let the yokes fall off. Let the chains be broken. Let the bands be free from your people. In Jesus' name, God will welcome you today in this service. Thank you, Lord. Amen. As you remain standing, we're going to take our Bibles, and we're going to turn to Philippians 4 and 19. And here's what it says. But my God shall supply all of your need according to his riches and glory. Then we're going to turn to Exodus, the 36th chapter and the f- verses, five, verses 5 through 7. And they spake unto Moses, saying, The people bring more than enough for the service of the work, which the Lord commanded to make. And Moses gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing the stuff that they had, for the stuff they had made 
was sufficient for the work. Amen. You may be seated. Immediately after service, there will be a 30 minutes worship and host training with those of you who are anticipating on becoming a worship host in the future. So we're inviting you to come. We'll be in the green room, and we're inviting you to come and be a part. On the uh, 22nd of June, the Lord have invited us to be a part of the men's program at Mount Olive, Mount Amen Church, Baptist Church in St. John. And it, you are invited men to come and be a part. There's no charge to the, for the breakfast, so you are welcome to come. And then on uh, June the 3rd, the men's of Scapoose is having a men's barbecue. Amen. And you are also invited to that. Amen. My wife and I has always been invited, and this year they are opening it up to the, to the wives. We have been just fellowshipping with the, with the men's, but this year Jim Basin decided to open it up to all of the men's and their wives. So that's a barbecue out in Scapoose. It would be at Jim's house if you'd like to learn more about it. Come and see me after service. Amen? amen? It was such a joy this morning to be the host, amen, uh, to be a part of KBU this morning. Amen. I was invited, amen, to be a participator, uh, amen, in the KBU sh uh, show that is hosted by JJ. They say amen for JJ. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. You don't, we don't know who we walk among. You know, I never dreamed that J.J. was a disc jockey. Never thought about that. Amen? But I was, I was highly blessed this morning to sit down with him and talk, amen, on his radio show this morning. That caused me to get up, amen, at 5 o'clock, and so I got up about 4 something. <laughs> and we had to be there at 6 o'clock. We spent two hours together. And I'll tell you, it was awesome. You know, years ago, I, I, uh, I used to uh, do radio broadcasts myself. I did it for about 10 years. Amen. We had our own radio broadcast, and, and uh, the name of our program was Jesus is Your Answer. And most of you don't know, but the reason why we use the phrase, amen, and hide you in the right place, uh, when I started my program, uh, Gail would come on behind, Dr. Hardy would come on behind me, and so, Lord gave him this program name by the name of You Are in the Right Place. So, that's how this name was birthed. Amen. He wanted to come right behind me, amen, on, the, on our radio, amen, and uh, with his program. And so, we working together, amen, to reach this city for the name of Christ's sake. Amen. Portland is important. How many believe Portland is important? How many believe Portland is willing, is, 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 uh, uh, is worthy to be sacrificed, amen, in reaching, amen. I believe there are still many souls in this, in this place, amen, to be reached for the kingdom of God. And so I'm not going to give up on Portland, amen. I know, I, know the, I know the statistics, amen, about Oregon, but I want you to know I'm not going to give up on Oregon because I believe that God has given us a vision for this city. Amen. God has given us a vision for this city. And we have been working ever since God called me into the ministry to awaken this great city. Because once this city is awakened, we are going to see the greatest revival that you and I have ever witnessed. Many have tried to awaken this great city. Billy Graham, amen. Uh, uh, most of the, A.A. Uh, uh, a. Allen, all of those great preachers have come. Billy Graham and all those great preachers have come here. Uh, 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 there was another guy by the name of, of Grant. He came here and tried to awaken this city. Bishop Bowell, amen. Baby Stokes, all of those great preachers have came here to try to awaken this city up. And we have had great revivals in the past. But nothing, nothing will be like, nothing would be compared to what God's going to do in our future. God is going to send a revival like we've never seen before. How many believe that? I believe revival is coming. I believe the people are going to return back to God. 
I believe we're going to see our family saved. I believe we're going to see our loved ones saved. I believe we're going to see miracles like we've never seen before. How many are hungry for the move of God? Come on. How many are hungry for the move of God? Oh, yes. David said, as the heart panties after water brook, so panties my soul after thee. My soul is hungry for more of God. My soul is hungry for more of the Lord. That's not what I'm going to preach about this morning. My subject is, here's my subject. My subject is more than enough. Amen. More than enough. Will you say that with me? More than enough. Enough. Taken from the book of Philippians 4 and 19 and Exodus 36, 4, 5 through 7 and 2 Corinthians 9 and 8. God, God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always have an all sufficiency in all things may be able to abound unto every, every good work. Amen. More than enough. More than enough. When we use the word more, amen, it, it indicates that there is a greater amount of something that's before us than the average or something else which is waiting, amen, to be experienced. When we look at the word more, the word more Amen, comes with a pronoun, amen, which modifies, which quantifies the word more to let us know that, that there are so many things that's unrevealed in the word more. In the word more. So when we think about the word more, the word more also lets us see in, in what's, what is behind the word more. Because there's always has to be a subject a man concealed behind the word more. But somebody has to, has to say and has to speak the word more. The word more just cannot come forth by itself. How many? Amen. How many agree with that? The word more just cannot be manifested by itself. So when we think of the word more, it is connected to an unlimited source, amen, that you and I have not yet been tapped into. But once we tap into that unlimited source, then it will reveal to us that God, amen, is more than enough when we receive him into our life. The Bible tells us there is no God like unto our God. God is greater than everything that you and I can imagine. God is greater because there is none like unto our God. There is none greater than our God. There is none can be measured up to our God. And that's why Jeremiah said in 32, 27, Jeremiah said, Behold, Lord God, there is nothing too hard for thee. Hallelujah. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. How many believe that? There is nothing too hard for the Lord. Then we come to the word then. The word then, the meaning of this word is used as a, as a function word. It, 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 it brings out that which, amen, of that which is hidden, amen, in the word then, because the word then has reference to more than one. It has reference to something, amen, that is to be done. And we know that, amen, when we use this word, amen, we're using it in the sense Amen. That is going to bring about a result of what you and I have applied ourselves to. The word then indicate to the second member of the members. It is taken when it is taken as a, as a point is also used to the to as a departure. Amen. Explaining a departure. It also used in, in connection with comparison. It also used in connection with equality. It's also used in the, in the conjunction, amen, with something, amen, that is about to happen of something that you are about to do. Amen. Rather than. And so we look at this word as we connect these words together. More than, amen, more than enough. 
So when we look at the word enough, it is indicating, here's what it is indicating. The word enough in an adjective, we describe something that is adequate uh, for a man intended purpose. And this is why uh, Paul, a man, as he was writing the Philippian church, the Philippian church had been faithful in supporting him. There was no other church that supported him like the Philippian church. And Paul was writing to let these Philippians know how grateful he was and how he, how, amen, he appreciated their support. Hallelujah. They, was, they supported him when he was in prison. They supported him when he was hurting. Amen. Because Paul, amen, let these people know in the first and the second verse, he let them know that his prayer was for them that to have the grace of God upon their lives, that their lives should be governed by God's favor, that their lives should be governed by God's strength. And so Paul was wishing the best for them because he knew if they would learn how to trust the God that he was trusting, he knew that they would always have sufficient grace to carry them through to whatever situation that occurred in their life. And that's why Paul said, amen, in the sixth verse, he said, be in confidence of this very thing, that what God has begun in your life, God is able to complete that thing. Hallelujah. He's able to complete it. He's able to finish it. God don't start anything without finishing it. And so Paul was letting these people know once they connect with God, he was letting them know that God is more than enough. God is more than enough. Many of us don't believe that. But I want you to know that God is more than enough. In Ephesians 3 and 20, according as he is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all all we can ask, all we can pray for. And that's why when you make the decision to accept God in your life, you have made the greatest decision that you ever can make. You have made the decision because once you make that decision, you become connected to the unlimited source to unlimited power. He said in the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter, he said, the birds of the air have nests. Amen. The foxes have holes. Amen. But the son of man have no place to lay his head. But one thing he also said as, as his children, it is his good pleasure to give unto you whatsoever you desire. And that's why David declared in 23rd Psalm in the first verse, he said, the Lord is. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in the green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And that is the reason why we ought to look up to him. From whence come is all of our help. Our help is not coming from down here, but our help is coming from the Lord. And that's why David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from which comes my help. My help is coming from the Lord who made the heaven and the earth. Because my God, he is able today. He's able to supply all of your needs. Not just some of your needs, but he's able to give you whatever you desire. He's able to give you the desires of your heart. And God said in his word, they that walk upright, I will withhold no good thing 
from them that walk as upright. And David declared the God is. God is my refuge. God is my strength. God is my very present help in time of trouble. Though the earth be removed, though the mountain tremble, though the earth be cast into the sea, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is. He is my very present help. God is. He my strength in dry places. God is. He's my shelter from the storm. God is. He's my rock. He's my rock of ages. He's my cliff for me. I can hide myself in him when the storm are raging, when the clouds are overshadowing my life. I can hide in him. I can run to him. I can walk in him. I can sing in him. I can dance in him because the Lord is. The Lord is. He, he, he is, he is my God. He's my God. He's more than enough. When danger, when danger surrounds you, just a few months ago, He proved to me that he was more than enough. Because you know what I did? I fell asleep behind the wheel. I was tired. But my God was watching over me. My God was holding me in the hollow of his hand. My God was telling me, many whether you don't have to worry. As long as I'm with you, death cannot harm you. Nothing can touch you as long as I am walking with you. I drove. I drove sleep for almost 30 miles round the mountain. Round the rivers. I couldn't believe what God had done. So I, had to, I was in prayer and God said, take your son. Take him with you and show him what he has done. And as my son and I began to drive that trusted journey, my son said unto me, he said, Daddy, he said, that's what God. God had his hand on you. And I want you to know when you think he's not there, he's always there. When you feel like you can't go another mile, he's sufficient to take you that extra mile. When you feel like you can't make it, he can take you to that next point in your life. One preacher said, God, extremity is our opportunity. Because when it seems like nothing is too hard, nothing is impossible with God. Elisha went down to the widow's house. Her husband had died and left her in debt. She didn't know what she was going to do. She had two sons. Creditors were knocking at the door, coming to take us, take us sons and make them slaves in order to pay off the debt. But God told the prophet, he said, go down to that widow's house. And she went down there and he went to the house. He, amen. He asked her what was in the house. She said, the only thing in the house was just a little plate of oil. And Elijah told her, he said, go and bury and borrow every vessel you can borrow. Because I want you to know the God that you are serving is more than enough. The God that you are serving is more than enough. So she went out to her neighbor's. She knocked on one door. 
and said, do you have a vessel I can borrow? She went to the next door and said, do you have a vessel I can borrow? And her and her son went forth and gathered the vessels. But meanwhile, the oil was sitting on the table waiting for her to pick it up. Because once she picked it up, the hand of God was going to be on that oil. God was going to cause that oil. Amen. To stop pouring. And it wasn't going to stop until God told it to stop. And she, after she had borrowed all of the vessels, they took them home and stacked them up. And they took the little one ball of oil. And they said, amen. She said, son, bring me that vessel. And he brought one vessel to his mother. The oil filled up that vessel. He brought another vessel to his mother. The oil filled up that vessel. I want you to know God. Is more than enough. God 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 is more than enough. If you don't believe he is, try him. Try him for yourself. Try him for yourself. Many times we are seeking material things. Jesus said to the people on the mount, He said, Fields are beautiful, the cover with the beautiful flowers. Solomon couldn't even do this. But as the flowers fade, take note, there's something more greater than what is hidden in this beautiful blossom. There is something greater hidden in this of what your eyes can see. Because when God created you, he created more than enough. You're looking at yourself but you're limiting yourself. But when God created you, he created you more than enough to take you from now until eternity. And your strength is not going to wear out. It's not going to bo- it's not going to be it's not going to uh, dry up because when God created you, God put something a man was sufficient inside of you. God gave you something sufficient. So when you see the blooms look so beautiful on the rose bush, you know what that rose is saying? There's something greater than what you're looking at. But what you're looking at, even though you're looking at beauty, beauty is going to fade. But beauty fades in order that something more may come forth. That something greater may come forth. Hallelujah. But many of us are limited what we see. Limited what you're looking at. But we are only looking through the human's eyes. But when God looks at you and I, God looks at something greater than what we're looking at. Because God looking at a finished work. He's not looking at a work halfway done. But God is looking at a finished work. God's will is for you to be your best. God wants the best for you. God wants the best for your family. We're coming close to Father's Day. That's what I'm bringing the message to a close. We're coming close to Father's Day. There are many sons and many daughters in here today were raised without their father, were raised without their mother. I don't want you to raise your hand, but there are many of you and you're even today, because you wasn't raised by mom and dad, even though you're bitter, there's unforgiveness in your heart. You made up your mind, even though you're grown, now you said, I will have nothing to do with them. Where were they when I needed them? They were where they were supposed to be. They were where they were supposed to be. That's where they was. Even though they weren't with you, they were where they were supposed to be. And you was where you were supposed to be. 
But the thing of it, you didn't recognize God's hand in the process. And so instead of being thankful to God, you became bitter. You became angry. You, you, came, you became filled with the spirit of rejection. And you said as you, as when, when you eventually found your mom and dad, you wouldn't have nothing to do with them. But I want you to know that's not God's will. That's not God's will for you. God's will for you is that you be complete. And you're not complete until you can find forgiveness in your heart. As long as you hold that bitterness in your heart, you're not complete. You cannot break through to God as long as you hold that unforgiveness in your heart. Yeah, I know it's been holding you for a long time. But God is saying to you today, he's more than enough. Just give him a chance. Just give him a chance for in your life. God is more than enough. He'll take you places that you never dreamed if, if you surrender to him. If you just give your life to him. If you say to God, God, I'm tired of owning my life. Of today, I want to give you my life. Today, I want, to, I want you to plan my future. I want you to plan my tomorrow. And Lord, I want you to forgive me for the, for the unforgiveness in my heart. I want you to forgive me for the rejection in my heart that I felt towards my parents all of these years. I want you to forgive me. I want you to wash it away, God. Amen. Now, the reason I can talk like this, because my mother and father didn't raise me. My mother left. Well, matter of fact, she didn't leave. They took me away from her when I was four years old. My father left before she left. And I didn't see either one. I didn't see my father till I was 16 years old. And I didn't see my mother till I was 20 some years old. And so instead of me being hateful, instead of me being angry, and you know what God put the cap on it? Here's something. I'm going to give you a good nugget. God put the cap on. You know what God did? The very woman that separated my home, that's the very woman God brought me to Portland with. That very woman, I, st I stayed with her. I ate her food. And that very woman, her and I became one of the most closest friends as though she was my own mother. I could have been bitter. I could have been hateful. I could have rejected her. And it was that very woman that spoke courage into my life, Sister Laverne. When I was walking around saying, I can't do this, I can't do that, that very woman said, boy, you better stop going around talking about what you can't do. Because if somebody else did it, you can do it. And so you see, I had a right to be bitter with her. I had a right to reject her. But I loved her as though she was my own mother. Then you know what God did through her? She saw me mourning before my mom. She was getting ready to go on vacation down south. You know what she said to me? She said, boy, I'm going to find your mother. And within two weeks, I got a letter in the mail with a picture in it, my mother's picture in it, telling me where she was. Amen. Now, if I had been bitter... Unforgiveness in my heart, God never would allow me to find my mother. You got to drop that anger. You got to drop that unforgiveness. Life is short. Life is not promised for tomorrow. Only today. Today, if you would hear his voice, hearten out your heart. And God is talking to you today. And God wants you. To say, I'm coming home. Shall we stand? I'm coming home. I'm coming home. The Bible said, John 3 16, <clears throat> it says, For God so Love the world. That's you. God so loved you. 
that he gave his own name. Not Gabriel, not Micah, not Sanfiel, but God gave his only son that came out of his bosom. He gave him for you because he loved you. For God so loved the world, that's you, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever would believe in him, he'll give him everlasting life. Not tomorrow, but today. The moment you say yes to God, God's going to transform you from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light. You're going to be saved quicker than you can bat your eye. Most of you can feel this air, right? Lift your hand. Let me know how many of you feel this air. Well, that's the way God is. God, Jesus said, everyone that's born of the Spirit is like the wind that's blowing. And God's Spirit is blowing through here right now. And God is moving on your heart. And God is saying to you, if you trust me, I'm more than enough. Just give me the chance. I can change your life from inside out. I can deliver you from that habit that you're struggling with. You've done everything, tried to overcome it. But God says today, if you trust me, you will overcome it. Because I'm going to make you brand new, as though you've never committed a sin in your life. And if you're that person, I want you to lift your hand. I want you to lift your hand. Ah, yes. You know, next, I want the next step I want you to make, I want you to make the greatest step of your life. I want you to come down here. Just make your way out and come on down to the front. You see, many of us have been in the church for many years. We have been touched. We have had a conviction in the church. But yet we have not yet had that genuine connection with Christ. There's a difference between receiving Christ and being convicted. A conviction comes up on you and it and it causes you to become emotional. But you don't, but it does not really take grip to the point where it causes you to become godly sorrow for what you've done. And so after you have experienced it, you end up going back, continue to do what you used to do. You know the reason why? Because you didn't make that, make that real, genuine connection. And, it, and today, I, I can go so far to guarantee you, that's how confident I am. I can guarantee you, if you say with all your heart to God and mean it, I'll guarantee you, you're going to be changed from the inside out. I'll guarantee you that. But if you just come in by emotion, just to, you're feeling good right now, but you, but you still, something is still holding on to you, it's not going to happen. But you've been searching for a long time. You've been crying for a long time. Something's been holding you and bearing you down. But you don't have to go any further. You can be free from it. Just saying a prayer is not going to save you. But it's your faith in Christ that saves you. And when I pray with you, I want you to let go of everything around you. And I want you to think about you and Jesus. And I want you to give it up. I want you to give up all. Give up all. Give up all. I want you to close your eyes. I want you looking at nobody. And I'm going to pray this prayer. They're going to pray an individual prayer. Put your mind on Christ. He's here. 
He's with you. He got his arms around you. And he's welcoming you. Can't you feel him around you? Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pray together. Sisters and brothers, I want you to turn it loose. I want you to turn it loose. I want you to cry out to God like you never cried out to him before. Because God wants to help you greater than you need his help. He's waiting for you to make that connection. Will you say with me, Lord God, Lord God with, all of my heart, with all of my heart, I come to you, I come to you believing, believing your word. The word, word declares if we believe on him, as the scripture has said, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Lord, we believe your word is real. We believe you are real. I ask you now to forgive me of every sin that I have done in your sight. I am sorry. I am deeply sorry deeply with all of my heart, of my heart. that I have transgressed yes. against you. Yes. I ask you to forgive me, you to forgive cleanse, me. Me. cleanse me. me, wash me through thy blood from all of my sins in the name of Jesus. And according to thy word, Lord, according to thy word, I confess now that Jesus, that Jesus died for my sins. For my sins. I, receive him I receive him into my heart by faith. Heart by faith. I, believe I believe with all of my heart, of my heart. That, Christ has risen. that Christ has risen. And not only has he risen, only has but he has risen today in my heart. I believe that Christ that rose from the dead I believe, I believe that he's in my heart right now. I believe he's resurrected me from my old life. I believe that I am free. I believe I am made whole. I believe that my sins are forgiven right now. In the name of Jesus, I accept it. I accept it. Come, let me lay my hands on you. Let me lay my hands on you. Now, Lord, confirm it. I come against every darkness. I command the spirit of darkness to loose, to set free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I command every grip, every hurt. I command you to loose her life from her head to the sole of her feet. I command it in the name of Jesus Christ. I command light to come in this soul. I command her to be delivered from her head to the sole of her feet. In Jesus' name. Today she would never be the same. Nothing would be like it was before. Nothing would be like it was before. A new life. A new life. A new life. A new life, a new life has took place in this woman's life. She will not even dress like she used to. She will not even look like she used to. From this day forward, a change has come in our life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, the next one. Come on, mother. Thank you, Lord. I'm just going to pray a prayer of confirmation. God already have done it. But I'm going to speak to to the darkness that has surrounded your life that it would not return in the name of Jesus I command every spirit of darkness that have so babala shunda I command every spirit of darkness that have surrounded this mother's life I command it to go 
in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let there be light like you've never experienced it before. Let the light from the lighthouse shine upon her today. Shine upon her today. Send out the light and thy truth. Let it guide her. Let it lead her. Let it bring her unto thy holy throne. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, I ask you to manifest yourself to her as she seek you. Manifest yourself to her. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Everybody, I want everybody to lay in hands, okay? I just want myself. Amen. Amen. Come on, mother. Come on, mother. Thank you. Mother, I'm just going to confirm what God has done, okay? Because God has touched you in a mighty way today, haven't he? You feel the change down inside? I'm just going to pray for confirmation. God's going to, the thing you used to do, you're not going to do them no more. The place you used to go, you're not going to go no more. You're not going to even have the desire for them no more. God's going to wipe it out. Lord, wipe it out. Wipe out the past. Let a new day begin. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Let a change that you've never experienced. Let a new change come over her life. In Jesus' name. So that she won't have to guess. But she'll know that you have changed her life from the inside out. Now take away the taste. Take away the desire. In Jesus' name. I command you to take your hand now forward. Offer this vessel. This is God's property. This is God's vessel. In Jesus' name. She have a new Lord. She have a new master. In Jesus' name. Let it be done according to your word. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. That's it. Have your way, God. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
Let it shine like it's never shined before. Let it move all the darkness from her life. Let the new way open to her. Let the new path be revealed to her, that she may walk in that path that you've laid out before her. In the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every spirit of darkness. In Jesus' name, I come against it. I command you to remove your hand from this mother's life. I command the glory of God to flood her heart from her head to the sole of her feet. Let it be down to your glory. Let it be down to your glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive it. That's okay. That's all right. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, let your glory come. Let your glory come. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Oh. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on. Yeah, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on. 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 Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yay! Hallelujah! Thank you for the freedom. Thank you for the freedom. Thank you for the freedom. Yes, it's coming. Yes, it's coming. Hallelujah! Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't touch her. Hallelujah! You come and listen, Nidi Kemana Shanda, the Bodhi Reba, Babla Santa, the Bodhi Reba. Who needs second in Mikhe Kamaha, Sankanolo, Sikele, Kamahanele, second in Lob, Shekele, Kanalo, Konolo, second, eh? Bandalo, Bodhi Rebia Satata. Oh, Kele, Kanalo, Sikelea, Kanalo, Sokun, eh? Konishi. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, let's praise Him. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ole, 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 ole. Hallelujah. Ha, ya, ya. Ha, ba, 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 Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. We welcome you. We welcome you, mighty God. We welcome you, mighty God. Thank you for coming into her life. Yes, Santa. Thank you for setting her free. Now she can stand. She can rejoice now. Lift her up. Brother, and lift her up. Oh, yes. Let the work complete. Let the work complete. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let the work complete. Hallelujah. Shando, shando, labo, kundu, di, abaha, shata, kamuli, ase, ne, ne, ne. Me, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Let glory flood us all. Let glory flood her soul. Let glory flood her soul. Let glory flood her soul. 
Let glory flood her soul. Let glory flood her soul, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for glory. Thank you for glory. Thank you for glory. Thank you for glory. Hallelujah. Glory is flooding her soul. Glory is flooding her soul like she's never experienced it before. You ready? You want to pray, honey? Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray for this child. Yes, The enemy desires to have this child. But I come against you, spirit of darkness. I come against you. Yes, Lord. And I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Lord. I command you to take your hands away from her life. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let her be free from her head to the sole of her feet. You spirit, you've held her long enough. And I command you now in the name of him who rose from that grave, I command you now to take your hand off of this child. In Jesus' name. Let it be done. Let it be done. Let it be done. According to your word. Let it be done. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Did something happen? You feel something happen inside of you? Huh? Your legs are still shaking? <laughs> oh, right now. Right now. Let it come, Lord. Let it come. Let it come. Let it come. Oh, yes. Let it come. Let it come. Let it flood her soul. Let, it, let a new life begin within her. Let a new life begin within her. Take away all the doubt, all the fear. Let a new life begin within her. In Jesus' name, let it be so. Let it be done according to your word. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, she, uh, you know what she said? She said, my knees are shaking. I'm trembling. Hallelujah. Is there another one? Amen. Anyone else want prayer? That's a, that's a young man. Come on, young man. Who I want is prayer. Oh, beautiful, beautiful mother. Oh, I love that smile. I love that smile. Mother, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to agree that God's going to grant you your request. You believe that? I want you to hold, okay? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Let your glory flood this mother's life. Move upon this mother. Grant her requests. Let it be done to your glory. If it's healing that she's seeking for, heal her now. From my head to the sole of her feet. Heal her now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Amen. You gave your life to Christ, right? Amen. Now I'm going to agree with you that the enemy is going to take his hand away from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I command you, the spirit of darkness, to loose him now. He belongs to God. He has given his heart to Christ. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to remove your hand from his life. Let there be freedom down inside of him. Loose him Jesus. from the head to the soul Jesus. of his feet. Loose him now. Jesus. Loose him now. Jesus. Let him go. Let him go. Jesus. Let a hey, let him go. Jesus. Let him go. That's right. Let him go. Let him go. Thank you, Jesus. Let him go. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Let him go. Thank you, Jesus. Let him go. Thank you, Jesus. I command you to let him go. I command you to let him go. 
I command you to let him go. I command you to let him go. In Jesus' name. Let him go. Let him go. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Jesus. Let your glory come in. 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 Let your glory flood his soul, Lord. Receive him into your kingdom. Receive him into your kingdom. Remove the darkness from his life. Remove the darkness from his life. Let the light from the lighthouse shine upon him now. In Jesus' name, shine upon him. Shine upon him, Lord. Shine upon him, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Even as it did on Saul when he was on his road to Damascus. Let the light from the lighthouse shine upon this young man. So when he leave here today, he'll know he has been changed. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. Come on, give God the glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You, you surrender today, huh? You give it all to him. I'm going to agree with you. And when I agree with you, everything that's been holding you is going to turn you loose. Give up everything. Let God come down through you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let your glory come down through her. Let the light from the lighthouse shine upon her today. Let it shine and erase every yes. spirit of darkness that have yes. tried to grip her life. Amen. I come against it. You used to be, but you're no more. Yeah, you're no more. You're no more. You're no more part of this life. This life belongs to God. This vessel belongs to God. Amen. And from this day forth, you have no right to it. No access to it. In the name of Jesus, I break every hope that you've tried to put on her. I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that it will be broken. Let it come. Let your glory flood her soul. 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 Let it come. 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 Let your glory flood her soul. Let your glory flood her soul. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' name, amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Even let it be. Let it be so. That's what amen it means. Let it be so. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mother God has already done what he promised, but I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to agree with you, okay? And as I lay hands on you, I want you to look up to God and say, God, I'm turning loose. I'm turning loose. I'm giving up everything, God. I'm releasing my will, my heart, my life, my family. I'm releasing it to you, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I just pray right now that your glory would come down upon her and that you would bless her from my head to the sole of her feet. Receive her today in your kingdom. Receive her today in your kingdom. Erase her past. 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 Give her today. Give her a new day. Give her a new day. A new beginning. A new start. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let it be done. Let it be done. Give a new start. Give a new start. In Jesus' name, thank you for it. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 
What do you believe God already now? You believe he already touched you, huh? Are you going to give it all to him? Lift your hand and tell him, say, Lord, I'm giving it all to you. I'm giving it all to you, God. In the name of Jesus. Now, those of you that are touching, I want you to believe with me, okay? I want you to let your faith go. No doubt us, amen? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask now as she has surrendered, she has surrendered her heart to you. She has given you all that she has. Lord, I ask that you now would let a new life begin. Let a new life begin within her. In Jesus' name, from her head to the soul, of her feet. Let a new life begin. Let a new life begin. Let a new life begin. Erase the past. Erase it from her life. Erase the memory of it, God. Let a new life begin within her. Let a new life begin within her. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be washed away. The blood of Christ cleanses you. The blood of Christ washes you in the name of Jesus. You're not what you used to be now. You're not what you used to be. You've come into the kingdom of God. God has received you as his child. You're now a child of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this new life. 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 Ah, oh, yes, there it come. Hallelujah, yes, turn them loose. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you for the new life. Let it come. That's all right, let it flow. <laughs> let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, welcome him. Just welcome him, welcome him. Just welcome him into your life. That's all right, hallelujah. With joy shall we draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy shall you draw water. You're drawing from the well of salvation. God has given you joy. Thank you for the joy. Thank you for the joy. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we say amen? Well, that one more. Amen. Did you receive Christ as your Lord today with all your heart? Now you're ready to give him up, give him all of your life, right? You're not looking back. You're looking to him now, okay? I'm going to agree with you. I'm going to lay hands on you. I'm going to agree with you. That's all I'm doing is your faith is going to make the difference. So as I lay hand on you, I want you to release your faith and let the Lord Jesus come down to you. He's going to do that. Here go. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I agree with the decision that this has made. I agree with, I agree with this decision that has been made in this life. Now let it become real. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it become real. Let her know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you have entered into her life, that you have made her a new person. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, lift your hands. Lift your hand. Let him in. Let your glory come in. Let your glory come in. Every spirit that has been holding her back, I command you to release her. You no longer, you no longer have authority in her life. Her life now belongs to Christ. That's right. Yes, Lord. Christ is the Lord of her life now. Amen. You own no more, no more place in her life. Her life is new. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Well, glory to God. Come on, let's give God the glory. Come on, let's give God the glory. Let's give the Lord the glory. Come on, let's give God the glory. Amen. Let's thank the Lord for what he has done today. Hallelujah.
Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Those of you that would like to become a part of Highland, this is your opportunity to say today I would like to join Highland and make Highland my home church. If that's you, I want you to come. If you'd like to become a member of the Highland Christian Center, I want you to come. If you're ready to make that decision, we'll work with you, we'll pray with you, and we're going to help you to become anchored in the Lord. Amen? If there's someone today that wants to be baptized on the second Sunday in June, is this mother coming today to be a... Amen. Let's say amen for her. Oh, you're not coming? All right, all right. You're already a member. <laughs> That's beautiful, amen. At this time, this brain, yes. You want to say something, my friend? At this time, this brain, this service, huh? he wants to be a member? Well, come on, come on, my friend, come on. Is there anyone else that want to be a member of, Highland, of the Highland Community Church? Amen? You're in the right place. As Dr. Hardy will always say, you're in the right place. Amen. Come on, let's show him love. And plus, I think this is, I think this was his first time, right? Yeah. This is his first, come on, let me shake your hand. This was his first, now, oh, glory to God. Oh, yes, the glory of the Lord is all over you. Oh, yes, God is, oh, yes, God is doing his work in your life. Hallelujah. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Glory to God. You want to join Highland? Come on, we got two. Come on, amen, amen. We welcome you. We welcome you on board. Amen. And we know that you're not going to be sorry. Amen. Amen. Come on, y'all. Amen. Take their names and get them ready for baptizing. Get them ready for baptizing. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. This your mother? Your grandma. Well, glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, let's bring this service to a close. May God bless you. And don't forget... Immediately after the service, we're going to have a 30 minutes worship host training. And though all of those of you who will be looking to become a participant in opening the service up, we want you to come and be a part. Amen. Amen. We're not going to hold you very long, but only, only a few minutes. So God bless you. Lord, we thank you for this. And don't forget tonight. Tonight is what? Sunday night at night. Sunday night at night. So come back tonight. Ella Charleston, Ella Pullen, we'll be looking for you. Amen. So God bless you. Lord, we thank you for this service. Bless nine our children as they go from this place. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you today. Thank you. Uh, in green, in green, in green. Huh? I just announced it. I just announced it. Thank you.